hello everyone welcome to my page messages from venus um this is maddie so today we're going to be um looking through a deck which is called the the ion tarot and this was um gifted to me by a beautiful soul okay i have her i'll have her information on my instagram because i did the 60 second first impressions on this deck and so the link um is connected to my website so this is the, the box. It's not like a, a box to go crazy over at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, it does bring a booklet. Let me see here. It brings a booklet, and it it's together with the I Ching. So you have the tarot and the I Ching. But the inside of the book um, gives simple but yet powerful definitions of what the cards are and they also bring their own the, the deck also brings their its own separate cards and it doesn't have any pictures um i don't know if this was a self-published deck in some way shape or form no it wasn't it was published by blue sky ranch in california and the cards are pretty hefty they're pretty big i'll show you guys so they're pretty big. These are my hands, and these are the cards. So these are my hands, and these are the cards. Okay, so they're like, I don't know. This would be like four by six, so four by six. In the back, it has the Eye of Horus. Some people mistake in the Eye of Horus for the Eye of Ra. There's a difference. Um, <laughs> um, and this eye is backwards, I just re realized. Anyway. But um, it does have the Eye of Horus in the back. And like I said, the cards have the I Ching in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then it has symbolism of astrology on the sides and also uses numerology. There, it, it's not a Mars, Mer, um, Merce style. It is more like a Pip style deck. The colors are absolutely amazing. Um, the people in the deck are absolutely fantastic. Um, the symbolism is beautiful, as per usual, in, in great decks. But it is a, a pip style deck. And what can I say about this deck? It's You can read reversals with it. You can definitely read reversals. Um, but it also touches, touches your intuition due to the fact that there's so many things going on within the picture that sometimes the picture itself takes you elsewhere. The deck is not a whitewash deck. Some of the cut, the um, yes, yeah, sorry, it's like in the middle of the night and I'm recording so that I can have content on my channel every day. <laughs> um, the some of the colors are pastel, so sometimes it just it will mess with your eyes if you have the same problem. As me I have astigmatism in one eye so yeah sometimes it's difficult but but the imagery is beautiful so you don't give a shit I don't give a shit um, you have you know like these cards that are different um, and that are not part of the right away Smith but still give its own unique uh, definition its own unique feel to the deck and this is the beautiful ace of wands and the I Ching, besides being incorporated on the sides or at the bottom of the sides, is also incorporated within the picture. So it's like the tarot and the I Ching within the picture and also numerology and everything else. So that makes me happy when certain decks merge. You see, like this is the hermit. Like what about this tells you that it's a hermit? To the plain eye, nothing. It also makes me feel like I am in a safari due to the type of animals. So if you're connected with animal totems or you work with animal totems a lot, this is a beautiful deck. Um, and this deck is also very much connected, according to me, to the story of Sophia and how she created this planet. And how her energy, I, I should say, created this planet. I don't think the book touches on that because I, I don't read the books like that. I really don't. And it's really bad because then I end up reading them after I use the deck a thousand times. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like the creator of this deck thinks the same age as I do. Uh, um, 
So it doesn't touch on the story of Sophia, but it does talk about um, the spiritual energies and the Aquarian age um, and our relationships. So uh, I always tend to look at things from the outside of the box and know when to recognize my goddess, my goddesses, my gods within everything in all elements, even elements outside of their own element. It's also very much connected to the Egyptian mythology as well. As well as other mythologies, like Greek mythology, I, I feel. And then in some way, shape, or form, it's also connected to like the, the you know, the modern feel, the, the modern look, the modern today. So I'm not going to show you guys all the cards, but um, for those of you that are interested in purchasing this deck, I guess you guys can find it on the internet. The card stock is not that great, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can shuffle sideways because it's a pretty big deck, but you can still sh break the deck so that you can shuffle this way if you want to read reversals. However, it's very difficult to do so um, with this deck due to the size of the deck. Um, it's very accurate. It touches the soul as any tarot deck does. Maybe I should just continue to flip through. It touches the soul um, just like any tarot deck, in my opinion, does. Um, however, they, I love unique decks. I love things that are unique, that have their own voice. I think I saw this one already. And it's also not a scary deck at all. Like, they look at the universe. It's not a scary deck. Um, let's see. Maybe I can find the tower somewhere. Uh, the tower isn't anything crazy. I know people just get freaked out by the tower. But it's simple. Simple, but yet it gives you the message. So I hope you guys enjoyed my amazing review. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.